So I hear the question whether or not mothers would always have custody of the children quite frequently from people. Um, first of all, it's important to distinguish what is custody and what is care and control. Custody, I think the common misconception is referring to with whom the child lives, lives with. However, actually it's the care and control which most people fight about. So custody normally would be joined to both parents because both parents should have equal right in major decision making. But it's the care and control, like the day-to-day -day caring of the child, which parents often um, would argue about. So the question would be, is it more likely that mothers would have care and control of the children? Now, the short answer is not exactly, because in the eyes of the court, there is no gender bias. However, in my personal experience, after having dealt with cases for more than 12 years, I would say that there's only a handful where I can recall the father having sole care and control of the child. It's more common nowadays for both parents, especially young couples, to have shared care and control because they both play an equal role in the children's day-to-day -day lives, having to both go to work. Um, traditionally, it used to be the mother who stays at home to look after the children, and therefore she has care and control of the children. So it all depends on the case, whether or not the primary carer is the father or the mother, or in some cases, and more usually, both. Um, in some cases where the children are young, then obviously the mother would have to be the one having care and control of the children because they need the emotional attachment of the mother and also if they are an infants, then the feeding becomes a problem as well. But if the children are a lot older than that, then, and if the father is as actively involved in the children's life as the mother, then the father may have custody as well and may even have, in some cases, care and control of the children instead of the mother.